So as a quick announcement before we prepare for the Holy Sacrament, as we invite in the children from Sunday School, and I think some of our teens are back from Alpha Teen. Welcome back. Welcome back. As you know, you guys, keep on praying for our teens. There's 19 confirmants who've been going through a very long process of getting themselves confirmed on June 5th with the bishop. So God bless you all and your, uh, your mature confirmation of your faith. All right, so I, in our sermon, you heard about all that stuff that the church has offering this Holy Week. So please look, and look it's all right there in the news and events. Uh, the one I wanna highlight is that Friday night uh, service, at, what says it's experience at seven o'clock. A 12 piece orchestra will be in here. There will be poetry in here. It'll be a powerful experience at seven o'clock and you can just sit and allow it to wash over you and the cross will be here. Uh, it's a one, a great one to bring friends, even those who are on the fence about their faith. I think it's a powerful experience. Even if you're an atheist, I think you'll just enjoy the night and say, wow, there was something mysterious going on there. I don't know what it was. So at seven o'clock, one on Friday night's a great one. Uh, friends, so the big news is that two days ago, our bish, the bishop, uh, he, not Bob Bish, our treasurer, but uh, the bishop down in Miami, he decided that we can have wine. All right, yay, okay. So, all are invited, none are, it's not, not, it's not a must, okay? So none must. Uh, however, so, but we will offer it to you today. So the, this is how it's gonna work. We're gonna have two stations. So we're gonna have Reverend Pat's secret to have myself. Uh, we will have two chalices next to us. So you will come up, the priest will offer you the host. You have choices here. You have three choices. One choice, you say, you know, Father Christian, thanks, but no thanks, I'm good right now. I'm still just not there yet. Just take it, consume it, and you'll walk this way and go back and be in prayer with God, right? Then the next one is like, okay, I, I'm, I, I, I want to intinct. That's cool. So an intinct is one that gets dipped into the wine. The bishop made it very clear, though. There's uh, only one person can intinct, a person with very clean hands, because when we do the intincture, sometimes fingers go in the wine, and it turns into a Petri dish of, of, of Jesus' blood, okay? Um, and so what we'll do is that you will take it, and you will hand it. So like right next to me will be Cindy Eden. She will lovingly take the Holy Sacrament and she's going to dip it and tint it, just the bread, not her fingers, because she's a trained professional and she will dip it in there and she will then, this is where our Catholic background comes in, she's going to place it in your mouth. She will not touch your teeth. She will not touch your lips. It won't get weird unless you make it weird. She's going to just place it in there as a reverent and holy moment of, of you consuming Jesus. Now, that is just strange for you. You can then, you will bypass Cindy. Don't, you, she, you won't hurt her feelings. And then with mine, you will go, I think, I think it's Bob or Gail. So Gail will be here. And then you will go to Gail and you can actually take the cup and drink it. It's a metal cup. So as we all know from all the, before the pandemic started, there was all this concern about drinking from the common cup. And you can check out, if you're kind of on the fence about this, I, go check out the research. There's been nurses and doctors that did research on this. They test the bacteria before and after mass, and it hasn't changed at all. Why? The metal doesn't hold bacteria, and well, and then we clean it, and the alcohol kills it. That still might not change your mind, and that's fine. That's fine. But if you wish to imbibe, you come over, she will offer you the cup, and you will drink, and then she will clean swipe. Okay, so that's where we're at. Uh, so you have three choices to receive the blood of Jesus Christ. And all of them are sufficient. If you do not receive the wine, doesn't mean you only got half a sacrament, half a Jesus, okay? <laughs> you accepted him into your heart on your baptismal day and as your confirmation, you've been received the Holy Spirit, you're good, okay? Uh, so friends, that's where we're at. And uh, I think that is it. What one am I missing, Daryl? Okay, on the Great Vigil, which is at 6 p.m. on sun, uh, Saturday night, okay. that's when it all the party starts. We start in darkness. It's a, it's a really powerful service. We start in the darkness of Lent, and we go into the light with a baptism, and it's great. We still need two acolytes. You want, preferably teens. Yes, we're practicing ageism. Okay, um, but, but it's fine. I think Daryl will take anyone. Daryl, please stand up. Please stand up. Okay, this is our wonderful verger. So we need two more acolytes, two more acolytes, okay? All right, my friends, let's walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as an offering and a sacrifice.